Hey, this is Mike from Helium Street, and today we're gonna to do a brief tutorial on the setup of the Bobcat 300 Miner, right here. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and visit a local business here in a uh, neighboring town, and we are going to take advantage of what hopefully is gonna be an emerging mining uh, community. The application for this uh, Bobcat Miner at this local business is uh, pretty basic. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in an area where it is uh, uh, set up with an antenna that looks out uh, a small window. And that window is pointing in the direction of uh, a couple of other miners that are in this community that are operational. Uh, neither of those miners are producing uh, high levels of HNT. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use this as an opportunity to, to uh, explore uh, the impacts of certain things, right? There's a tree that's kind of in the front of the window uh, that has a little bit of foliage that's not super dense, but uh, we're gonna set this miner up and we're gonna run it. And then we're gonna do a couple experiments. We're gonna trim it back a little bit over time and see if that makes a, a difference in our mining experience. Uh, I'm not gonna get into how we're doing the arrangement with the business, but uh, we can certainly explore that in future videos. Uh, we're gonna go through the basic setup of the, of the miner the hot spot and uh, we're, uh, we're we're super excited about this uh, Bobcat 300 so stay tuned so the first thing that we need to do is we need to go through these connections uh, on the back side of the Bobcat 300 miner uh, first we have starting from the left moving to the right we have a we have the antenna connection uh, that is where the antenna connects um, so that is the only place where the antenna connects. And then B, that is the Bluetooth button. Uh, and so we, you, with your Bobcat 300 miner, you're going to receive a small little, uh, it looks like a little bit of a paper clip. Um, and that paper clip tool will go through that hole and you'll use that when you need to pair, um, pair your, uh, your cell phone with your miner. Um, and it'll set up the Bluetooth uh, functionality with your miner. Um, and then there's C and D which those two ports are not used. It's a COM port and then a, a TF card port. Um, so those connections or those areas of the backside of the miner are not used. Um, and then E, we can see that that's, that's labeled as yellow, uh, really trying to signify there that it might be used and it might not. And it all depends on whether or not your Wi-Fi uh, is uh, gonna work out for you uh, at, in, for your specific application. Um, and so that's the ethernet port. And so that might get used, but maybe not. In my case, no. Um, and then we have F, and that's the power. Uh, of course, that's gonna be used uh, in all applications. So that's the backside of the Bobcat 300. All right, so the next step is you're gonna download the application for your phone. So you go ahead and download the uh, Helium Hotspot app, um, just like the instructions stay in the, um, in the, in the literature for the Bobcat 300. And so the, basically the application is going to walk you through a series of steps, uh, very simplistic. Uh, the first step here is going to be uh, basically identifying which uh, hotspot it is that you are going to, um, to be using. And so in our case, it's going to be the Bobcat. Um, and then the next step in the application process or the, this, the process to install a miner uh, it's just going to ask you a series of questions. They're really just kind of like uh, uh, helpful hints and reminders. Uh, so placing your hotspot, give your hotspot um, plenty of space uh, and sky, and make sure that you're following that 300 meter rule that we've talked about a number of times on a number of videos that we've that we've presented here on uh, Helium Street. The next is just a uh, basically reminding you that buildings and structures may decrease your hotspot's coverage. And then finally, that uh, bug screens are a big concern. Uh, so you want to make sure that you keep your hotspot away from metal meshes, which can uh, block the radio signals uh, dramatically. And then you specify at the bottom here that I've read the guide. The next step is basically Bobcats looking to see if you will agree uh, regarding use, utilization of the diagnostics that they offer. Um, so di diagnostic support allows Bobcat to identify issues with your hotspot in a secure way. And then the app further explains that Bobcat will uh, never have access to your private keys. Uh, and the hotspot is the only thing that they'll be able to access on your network. Um, if you'd like to opt out, you can go to this email address 
and, and so on. So you basically you click I understand at the bottom. The next step is to power it up. Now you probably already have plugged in your, your uh, Bobcat 300 uh, like I did. Uh, so basically plug in uh, the hotspot with the, the provided power adapter to an outlet near a window. And also they further explain that you want to go ahead and uh, install your antenna as well. So screw in the end of the antenna into port A like we described pre previously. And then that the hotspot is ready when the light turns from red to yellow. Next, you go ahead and click that button at the bottom. It says, I'm powered up. The next step is that we're going to scan for my hotspot. So you go ahead and uh, use the provided pin to press the BT button on the back of your hotspot. Uh, when you push that in for five seconds, um, then it'll automatically search for your hotspot. And there we go. We found our hotspot. Then it'll continue to connect. And there we go. Now we get to scan for our specific Wi-Fi connection that we want to connect to. And we'll go ahead and pick the specific Wi-Fi connection. Enter the password for our specific connection. Next, we need going to set the hotspot location. So basically what we're doing here is we're identifying exactly where the hotspot is in the world. It's pretty cool. So basically you just drag the location over to where the white circle is and then set location. And now we're registering the hotspot. So once you're complete setting up the miner, gone through the application, uh, the miner is going to automatically start to, to start synchronizing with the blockchain. Uh, and that's where it goes through, and it takes about uh, 24 to 48 hours for that to occur. After that, then it starts going through proof of coverage tests. It goes through witness tests. And that's when you start to um, earn HNT. And so that's the exciting part, right? And so if you'd like to learn more about this, uh, miner, uh, go ahead and go to uh, heliumstreet.com. Um, and if you got something out of this video, uh, we'd sure appreciate it and really, really, really appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, uh, and even share. Um, so thanks so much for being here, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thank you.